Hi guys, this is Dan. Welcome to Enco Guys. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are new, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. This is a broad spectrum reading intended for all signs. Originally created for Monday the 11th of October, but it is not solely set for that date. Whenever you're seeing it is when you're supposed to be seeing it. Oh my god, my insomnia woke me up at 3 a.m. this morning. I don't know why. Without an alarm, why awake? So I've been up for a while now. I'm trying to get this done. I'm, now I'm sort of tired. I've been up for a few hours trying to do laundry and things like that. Um, but let's try and get this done. You guys know the drill. I can't even think right now. I'm just brain dead. <laughs> So let's see what the card is for today. Sorry guys, just not feeling it today. Okay, we have the Fool. So, the beginning of a journey. Uh, we saw this card last week and on the Sunday. Um, new beginnings. This can be about being open-minded, um, uh, paying attention to new opportunities that may be around us. Uh, it should be big changes, right? Or at least the pursuit of those big changes. The beginning of the endeavor of the pursuit of that big change in our life, right? We also have that Ace of uh, Pentacles in the midweek of this weekly on Sunday. So again, we see the Fool and the Ace energy happening again for us this week. What leaf do we need to turn over, guys? What are we holding on to that we might need to, you know go against the grain or the societal societal norm and make the shift and make the commitment make the change to something new does that make sense that's kind of the feeling that i'm getting with this card i feel like maybe some of us that were supposed to change last week or we were going to change last week or we were contemplating it maybe we didn't actually take the initiative and do it the fool feels like he's back here to remind us hey now's the time Let's move on. Let's go. Let's not worry. Let's just do it and we'll manage it as it happens. The fool to me lives very much in the moment. Um, we have that Ten of Swords energy, energy underneath this, right? Which would be that sort of idea of completions, right? And with completions come new beginnings, which would be that, you know, would usher in sort of this fool energy. But um, there's also this idea that the Ten of Swords is about like kind of a deep betrayal or no longer having the fight left within you. So if there's something that you're holding on to for like, I don't know, for dear, dear life or out of, I don't know, responsibility or obligation or because there's not anything better going on in our world, then it, I kind of get a feeling that it's time to let it go. It's time to move on. It's time to like look to new horizons, be optimistic, look outside of the box, think outside of the box, be playful in your energy and start to take life on more as an adventure rather than as a challenge. Does that make sense? Because that would definitely be the fool's energy. That's what he would be like seeking for us or wanting for us. God, my stomach doesn't feel right. I don't know what is my problem. And here we have Miss Joy Harjo again. She's bravery. Again, she's grounded to the earth. I love how her skirt looks like the earth to me. She's being brave. She's looking to the future. Um, I don't even know that I need to reread her story. I think that the, the message here today, or this is what it feels like to me, and also we have that grounding stone of faith this week. It's like, what are we avoiding? Like, what are we trying not to step out in front of or step out and commit to? Um... These cards feel to me like they're asking us to do so, that we can do this, that we can make this happen, that we have the strength, the power, the wherewithal to make this happen. Remember last week's um, underpinning card was that Leo energy of strength, another major arcana card. It's like there's some new leaf that needs to be turned over. And, um, I'm not sure if you're aware that you're reluctant or um, maybe you're aware that you're being reluctant and you just don't care. <laughs> I'm not sure. 
to me, it feels like if we're brave, we can start new adventures, we can start new journeys, we can learn new things, but we have to be open-minded and optimistic enough and sort of um, uh, uh, daring enough to actually uh, do it, right? To be in that sort of faith um, and allow that faith to carry us through these changes, these shifts, and these um, new trajectories that want to come into our our being the grounding stone which we also saw this last week which is this idea of promise usually promise to me think makes me think of like abundance you know like the promised land but here i feel like this is like more of a promise to ourselves uh to make the commitment to make the change to be brave to see it through to commit to hold our um you know our our attention our promises our intention and utilize that towards moving us forward. Um, where and how can we make promises to ourselves that enable us to sort of pursue new goals, um, to be brave, to live in, you know, this idea of this faith within, whether it's within our higher power or within ourselves, um, we can do this. Does that make sense? And so we need to understand that and then sort of take responsibility for that, make that commitment to ourselves, be brave and move forward, regardless of the outcomes or the potentials of outcomes. Sitting around and fearing it or worrying about it is not necessarily going to um, uh, change it, right? It's, it's gonna, it requires us to step forward requires us to be brave. It requires us to take the journey, to not worry about the future or how the journey is going to play out, but to um, embrace it, become excited by it, and allow it to kind of, um, I don't know, maybe inform us or teach us in the moment. We certainly have the skill and the ability um, to adapt and to learn in the moment. And I do get a feeling with these cards here that you will be fine, right? Regardless of what the change is or the shift is, you will be fine and you know how to do this. I hope that makes sense. I'm sorry it's such a short reading. I just feel really like, I don't know, I don't feel right. It's, I've already been awake since 3 a.m. I don't know why I woke up at 3 a.m. And it's just like awful. Like I hate when this happens. It's insomnia for sure. Um, please tune in, please can hit the thumbs up button and give me a uh, like and subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. We'll see how this all unfolds. And again, thank you all for tuning in and thank you so much. Um, have a wonderful day and take care. Bye-bye.